Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Stacy, and I'm also Stress Knits on Instagram. And I'm coming to you from Detroit, Michigan on Championship Weekend, <laughs> um, where I live with my husband, Doug, our daughter, Eliza, and our pug, Esther. If you couldn't guess, the Lions are playing today. It is, I, I have all of the energy and all of the excitement about it. Um, and I know not everyone's into football, but we, this is the first time in my lifetime that I have seen them win a playoff game, make it to the championship game, and I just, I can't believe it. And my dad and I have been saying all week, we're just 16 minutes away from a Super Bowl, which is something that just feels wild. Um, anyway, so I'm very chipper and upbeat about that today, and um, Doug is playing downstairs with Eliza with Legos and I just wanted to come up on this beautiful rainy day and talk to you about kind of my intention this year with making and I also got a haircut yesterday on a whim and um, very into it <laughs> so I don't know I just thought it would be a nice time and I realized how messy my shelves are behind me plants are over here but the light is just so beautiful in our office today that I thought this would be the perfect place to film. Okay so <laughs> this is a video I hoped to make at the end of December beginning of January but I know a couple of you are aware if you follow me on Instagram or if you've watched a previous video our family was hit really hard with some sort of upper respiratory situation. I was down um for about two weeks starting the 23rd of December and then Eliza got it and now Doug has it kind of Doug's isn't as bad um last time I filmed Eliza had a stomach bug we ended up having to take her to the hospital for that um that day actually that night and then um then she got a little upper respiratory infection and pink eye. <laughs> and so like, it's just, it's been, you know, not a super fun time with that. But I'm finally, after about a month feeling better, my ear has popped, which is so lovely. And uh, I'm finally feeling like I want to talk about my knitting intentions and um, how I want this next year to look. So I want to start off video wise. So I will be vlogging and doing some extra videos over on Patreon. I've taken a bit of a break um, just for personal reasons and I am starting to work on a video for over there. So that should be up in the next week. Um, so there will be extra content over on Patreon more regularly and then with YouTube I really want to make at least one video a month. Uh, I really love the what I made in a month, what I'm planning to do next month videos, but I also want to share things like this, um, where I just talk through some project planning and what I'm thinking, yarns I'm excited about, um, and all of that. So that is going to be the, like, social media side of it. I, I'm still going to be posting on Instagram pretty regularly, I'm hoping more regularly, and I really liked my shift last year of being in more photos and more modeled photos so that there's a face to the pieces you're seeing. Um, so there's that. And then I wanted to talk about my projects in general. So behind me, you can see my stash. There's also a dead plant behind me. So if you see it, don't judge it. Um, I need to get rid of it. But this is this is my stash. Um, a lot of it, um, the bottom is all linen quill. I have some Lamb and Kid, uh, some Spin Cycle, that's Explorer Knits. There's some Woolberry. Um, what else is back here? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's basically it. I do have um, a couple of sweater quantities of Brooklyn Tweed, both Loft and Shelter, behind me. And... Doug's looking for a Lego piece in Eliza's room. Um, and I really want to pull from Stash this year. I have so much that I love that uh, I just, that's kind of what I want my focus to be. I also want to de-stash, you can't see it, there's another row over here. I have a little cubby 
of some yarn that I loved in the moment but I don't really have plans for so I think I will be de-stashing that soon. Uh, so I want to um, use my stash and that kind of folds in to the theme for the year which I wasn't really planning, but the more and more that I thought about projects and what I want to knit, what is on my needles, if I want to frog things, if I want to finish, um, I really decided that this year I want to make with intention. And I think that is a very, a very similar story for a lot of people right now. There's just, almost like an overconsumption fatigue happening, which I'm kind of here for. <laughs> um, I just feel like there were so many years where I wanted to knit and make the new thing, the thing everybody's talking about. And granted, there is still some of that. Sometimes I see things and I'm like, you know what? I really love that and I would like to make it, which is one of my whips right now. But then there are other things like a project I just finished, which I will show in a little bit that is practical and I picked um, yarn from my leftover stash and used every bit of it and made a project that I'm going to use all the time when it's cold out. And I just want to continue that thread throughout the year and not have a set goal of making X amount of sweaters or X amount of shawls. I just want to make things that kind of suit me and make them at a slower pace so that I'm focusing on fit and make sure that there's something I'm actually going to wear instead of just sitting in my closet. So that's really the direction that I'm going to be heading this year and I'm very excited about it. So with that I want to talk to you about a couple of projects. I just realized I need to grab a project that I'm going to talk about. So, first things first, let's talk about the biggest project on my needles, and that is my Pressed Flowers cardigan, which I have made my birthday sweater. I am turning 30 in February, and I wanted to make a sweater that I loved that was really special for my birthday. And we are going to Arizona with my friends for um, for a couple of days in February. And I would really love to take pictures in the desert. I just realized I'm in the middle of a row, but that's okay. So last time you saw it, I was working on the body. And since then, I finished the body. And I'm working on the back. I have finished the left front. Here it is. I'm a little nervous because I think this is going to be a little bit smaller than I anticipated. I wanted it to be oversized like a sweatshirt. Um, I, I think I'm just going to kind of block the hell out of it. I know mosaic doesn't block like crazy. It doesn't grow like crazy. But there's still like give to this that I think I can get an extra like three to four inches from blocking and I'll also probably make the button band a little bit wider just to give myself some more room. Um, I did knit a couple extra flowers. Um, I think most people do eight rows of flowers and I did, how many did I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did 11 rows of flowers, so five and a half repeats of that just to make it a little bit longer and also that will give me room to stretch it a little bit more without being fearful of it being too cropped. Um, yeah, so I'm working on the back right now and then the front, uh, the left front went pretty quickly so I'm not concerned about that, but I'm getting there on the back. It's, go it's going well. So this is the Pressed Flowers Cardigan by Amy Christoffers. And I'm knitting the size 53, I think, but it's going to be closer to like a 48, which is, it's fine. I will still have positive ease, just not as much as I wanted. Um, and I'm using, this is Moonspun 
which is a collaboration between Moondrake Knits and Spin Cycle. It is the Spin Cycle base and Moondrake's yarn color. So this is Toffee and it's this beautiful golden brown color that I really love. And then I'm using Spin Cycle Dyed in the Wool and this is the Pale September colorway, which is a shop uh, exclusive for La Mercerie. And I picked, I bought it when it first came out and I also picked up more skeins of it um, when I was in Seattle at Flock Fiber Festival. So um, I'm only on, I'm on skein three of Toffee. I'm only on skein two of Spin Cycle. I still have like this little leftover um, and I'm definitely going to pull out the brighter bits in here. Uh, just to keep it a more cohesive flower color throughout. Um, I like the subtle changes. I don't want it to be very drastic and I don't super love like the really sherberty parts of this. I like the more subtle pinks and peaches. So that is, this is taking up the majority of my time. Um, it is a slow and steady slow and steady project but I really think I'm gonna wear this a lot especially in the fall in the winter I just I love it I love the colors it makes me really happy and I also just love the idea of this is me coming into my 30s that is the main project I did take a side journey into the world of mittens because um, Michigan just and most of the Midwest and Northeast had this really frigid snap which we have most years recently um, but where the real feel was like negative 20 and I don't have gloves or mittens which is silly so I knit myself a pair of mittens this is the simplest the world simplest mitten pattern from tin can knits i was inspired uh by jackie's son uh from jackson rose previously caddy jacks um her son lantorn had knit and knit these mittens and i was like you know what i really need to knit mittens so i did that and um i knit the adult small the dk size this mitten pattern is so simple it'll be linked below um, and I knit these, I think in like three or four days, but I didn't knit on them every day. So a very simple pattern, a very quick knit, and I love them. Um, <laughs> I just, I think they're just the sweetest little things. Um, I'm going to be knitting Doug and Eliza a pair as well because I'm using my leftovers. So these are all the Lamb and Kid um, Todd and Todd Worsted. The accent colors are Todd Worsted and the main body is DK, um, which is just the normal Todd. And it is a yak and cashmere blend. So they're super soft, super squishy, super warm. The main color is Old Shale. And then the thumb is Veronica. And the um, tip of the mitt is slug, which is my favorite lamb and kid color. Um, so I used all of this yarn in a couple of projects. I used old shale in my, um, I don't know if it's up here. It is up here. Yay. Okay. Ah. I used slug and old shale in my Saturday shrug. This is the DK version. I love it. And then um, I knit Eliza's Saturday Shrug in, um, I did little stripes of Veronica in that. And then with the leftovers of that, I knit myself a Manhattan hat. And then I still had a little bit of leftovers, so I used them for the thumbs and it's almost all gone. And I just, I really love using bits and bobs of yarns because then when I look at this, when I look at this pair of mittens, I think about all the things I've made 
with that yarn and it's just very special. Also Eliza has kind of adopted this hat because it's a little too short for me to get the brim as wide as I want so she's been wearing this at school which is nice. Um, yeah but I cannot re recommend these more. It is just such a lovely easy pattern and um, quick too. So that was really great. And then we've got plans. So um, one of my plans is one of my favorite projects. I'm realizing I have some travel coming up. Um, it's going to be a longer plane ride and it's going to be at night. So I don't want to knit on anything that I need to look at because I don't want to have a light on. I'm sitting next to my friends and I don't want to be that person. So I want to work on something that is very intuitive. I can feel if I need to pull out my phone and like check how something is looking, I can, but it's not fussy or anything like that. And that is my half and half triangles wrap. I think this is my fifth, let me see, my original, my one for my mom, hot pink, the two pinks, purple, and yellow. So this is the sixth one I've knit, but the fifth one for myself. And this is Robin's Egg Blue, I think. Yeah, Bird's Egg Blue. Um, and this is Pearl Soho Linen Quill. The half and half triangles wrap is a free pattern on Pearl Soho's website. I love it. I know not everybody does, but it is just such a comforting knit for me. I love garter stitch back and forth. I love playing with color palettes. So it's just a really perfect um, pattern for me. And the linen quill yarn, I just, I love wrapping myself in and I use my half and half wraps all the time, every day in the winter. They are just so warm and lovely. Eliza uses them as blankets and I have a nice <laughs> big stash of linen quill. So I started this around the time I went to Seattle with my mom and I just really love the blue. And I've been trying to figure out what color I want to put with it and they have new colors, but again, I have such a large stash right now that I don't wanna buy any more yarn. So I'm thinking about knitting with golden green next and having this be my half wrap. Um, I do really want to make a large version of a Soho square, which is by J I'm just going to keep getting up today. Um, we're just going to talk about things that I love. So I really love creating color palettes. And one project that um, I love is the Soho square from Jackie Rose of Jackson Rose. And um, I did spill some coffee on it, so I need to wash it. Um, but you get the you get the idea. So you just get to, oh, it's really sad that it's on the light part, but um, yeah, you just make this really beautiful. I'm gonna show you the wrong side just because I don't wanna show you the, um, but you get to create these beautiful color palettes and this size is quite lovely. Um, and this is unblocked, but it's just nice to like kind of roll up. Um, and I just really loved knitting this. This is, um, you can find details on a project page on Ravelry, but this is the Lamb and Kid um, Slug, Olives, Blush, and Shoe. Yeah, I just, I really love it. And she has a size that is comparable to a half and half wrap. And I think I would really love to put together a color palette that feels very me and a very large size. Um, but for right now, I think this is going to be my half wrap and knitting these in spring and summer. I think it's going to be lovely. So I think this is the plan. Um, I'm still on the first ball of yarn. I knit the largest size. I have a tutorial if you're curious about the pattern. Um, but yeah. So I think this is going to go back into rotation, um, especially when my pressed flowers is done. And I just, I just think this is really fun and a little bit different for me. So there's that. And then um, 
last but not least, so I showed you my Manhattan hat, and I realize that I love wearing hats. So when I wear this, um, this is how it looks because I didn't knit it long enough to triple fold, which is what I wanted from this hat. But I was using leftovers and I just didn't have, it's just a little too short for me. Um, I just didn't have enough yarn to do it. So I do have um, some yarn in my stash from when I went to Seattle. And I actually think I'm going to cast this on and this is going to be my Lions game knitting if I feel like knitting at all. I'll probably knit in the first half and not knit at all in the second half. Um, but I want to knit on something a little bit more mindless where gauge doesn't matter as much as my pressed flowers or maybe I'll work on my half wrap. But I am going to knit another Manhattan hat in the colorway Radish, which is almost this color, which is one of my favorite colors. Um, this is the Lamb and Kid Todd Worsted. I bought this in Seattle. Um, and I just, I love it so much. It means the world to me. I bought this with my mom and um, yeah. I've already knit her hat out of um, loam, which is a brownish green color that she picked out. And then I will be knitting mine out of radish. And I, I just really love this color. I wear this sweatshirt all the time because I love the way this color looks. And so I think if I have a hat, and I have a dark green winter coat, so I think this will go really well with it. And yeah, so I think that's going to be cast on soon and just have some mindless knitting. Um, what else? What else? I'm not going to think about another sweater until my pressed flowers is off the needles, or at least I'm on the sleeves and then I can start thinking about swatching and whatnot. Um, but that's really everything. I'm really looking forward to a year of sitting down, going through the entire process of knitting and really thinking through my decisions, thinking through my sizes, thinking through my yarn choices and making clothes that I'm actually going to wear and look at what sweaters I do wear. I use my um, I'll probably do another video on the sweaters that I wear most, but I really love a positive ease sweater um, that hits like right at my hip that I can tuck in or not depending on how I want to look. And I also wear um, tank tops a lot because I love a layering piece. I always have a sweatshirt or a flannel or a jacket over top and I wear them so much. I wear my tank tops a lot. So when I have those things in the back of my mind and really think through what is going to work for me. Um, I want to know, do you have any go-to projects? Do you have things that are maybe not the most impressive knits, but you like you pull at them again and again? Do you have um, a more complicated knit and by complicated I mean just like the pa there's patterning maybe there's cables maybe there's lace is there something that's maybe a little bit more complicated that you have made that's a very important piece in your wardrobe I want to know these things I want to know what yarns you love I really love hearing about your opinion so if you could let me know below because I really want to continue making clothes that I'm going to wear and I want to know what you wear and why. All right, so that is it. Go Lions and I will see you next time.